What I've realized after working four years as a no-code web designer is that there are three website projects that make you the most money. And the successful web designers and developers base their pricing strategy around these three productized services I'm gonna show you. Hey, my name's Finn. I've been a web designer for four years and for three of those I was a freelancer, but now I work full-time for Antler. And four years ago when I was just getting started, I charged $400 for my first website project. This is before I knew about productized services, about anything of what I'm gonna show you today. And actually the biggest mistake that I was making and a lot of you may be making as well, is that when a client comes in, you create your pricing strategy and your proposal based on their project. What if before the client even arrived, you sat down and came up with three website projects that you knew were gonna make you money. And then when the client came along, all it was is matching them to which of the projects was a better fit for them. Now, let me quickly run through the packages with you just so you know what we're dealing with here. So the way it works is you have a budget package, you then have a medium package, and then you have an advanced package. And these are all ascending in terms of you know, budget. So this is your cheapest, mid and most expensive. These are called productized services and it's a great way to run a web design business. I mean, imagine if you just offered one option. If that wasn't a good fit for the client, then you've lost the client and you don't wanna be losing leads like that. 80% of your web design leads are gonna fit into one of these three options here, one of these three packages. And as we're gonna see, even the lowest package might be the most profitable. In terms of pricing here, guys, I'm doing this based as a web designer in Australia. So if you, in your country it's higher or lower what people are paid, uh, you can just adjust based on that. So let me break down the packages for you here. The first option here is our core package. This is our cheapest website that people can buy. You know, we've got to start somewhere. And this is for clients that are in the 1,000 to 5,000 budget range. They don't really care about having a super complex custom website. This is probably a small local business that just needs a website. And what we're going to do is maximize time efficiency. So one of the first things here I've is that we're going to be using a Webflow template, a Framer template, whatever you build with, we need a pre-built website. And what we're going to be doing is customizing it with their colors, you know, their font, adding their content in. We're also going to be setting up the CMS. So let's just say they have a blog, you know, a portfolio system. We need to be customizing that CMS to fit them. And we're also going to have some basic integrations. So this would be things like connecting their MailChimp newsletter, it would be connecting the contact form to the email. And this all should take you between 10 and 20 hours. So let's just say like I've got here, I charge $3,000. This is probably what I would charge for this, for this project. If I spend 20 hours on this project, I know that my average hourly rate is gonna be about $150 an hour, which is a fantastic hourly rate for a web designer. And you see the shorter time you do the project in, the more profit you make on your hourly rate. You know, $3,000 is a pretty small fee for a website, but you're using the template to make it profitable for you. And this is why I don't want you to disregard this lowest option because I've made some of the most money per hour in my entire life just customizing a template for a client. The client's happy because they've got a great, fantastic website for a budget price, and you're happy because you've been paid very, very well for your time. Now let's take a look at the medium package here. This is for the clients that need a bit more functionality, a bit more customization. And for this reason, we're gonna charge them more money. But then again, this is probably a bigger business. So let's say this project is gonna be between five to $10,000. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start in Figma with a Figma template, okay? And what this means, and the, the reason we use a Figma template is not so much to start the design off, that is really helpful, but one of the biggest blockers on any website project is content. Unfortunately, I've had website projects go literally a month overdue just because I'm waiting for the client to give me their content. But the power of a Figma template is the client can actually see what content they need to produce. And it makes it a lot easier to get content from the client. And so by using a Figma template, this is gonna actually speed up that process a lot for you. That Figma template that we're gonna be getting, we're gonna be customizing that. We're gonna be modifying layouts. We're gonna be customizing that template to fit the design that the client wants. Now, here's a big tip for you. Try and find a website template in Figma that already has a Webflow template that matches it, okay? So this is quite common where you will have 
a template that comes both in Figma but also in Webflow or Framer. And this just means that you have the website already pre-built. And again, on these first two lower tier of projects, you wanna maximize time efficiency. And lastly, we're gonna be adding on some more integrations. So things like Zapier, make.com automations, maybe integrating their, I don't know, HubSpot CRM. These are slightly more advanced than the first tier. And as a bigger business, it's quite likely that they would want to you know, have some more advanced integrations. And those are obviously included in this package. This whole process should take between four and eight weeks because the whole idea of this medium package is to still use templates to speed up our workflow, but also offer the client the opportunity to customize the template in Figma to better suit their needs. Now let's move on to our most expensive package here, the advanced package. Now, a common misconception is actually that this is the most profitable here, but I wanna warn you because this package is also the most dangerous and it's the most risky. The reason I wanna warn you about bigger projects is that there's so much more that can go wrong. Like for this package here, we're gonna be going fully custom on the design. So right away, there's no templates to back you up. And you're also gonna be building a lot more of a complex set of integrations. And you know, if you can't build them, you're gonna to have to hire someone to do that. And that's why we're charging, you know, I'm saying at least 10K, 10K to 30K for this website. And that might seem like a lot of money, but for these projects, you're gonna to have to hire people because let's just say it's a real estate company that wanna show their listings on their website that get, gets connected from their main database. You need to hire an API developer for that. Maybe they want a 3D animation and you've got to hire a 3D animator for that. These projects can last 10 plus weeks. You know, 10 weeks would be fast for an advanced project in my opinion, because there's so much that can go wrong. There's so much to organize that when you take a project on like this, there's, you know, you're, you are accepting a lot of risk. You know, compare this to the core website where everything's clear, it's really easy to do. And you know, you can make, you know, 150 bucks an hour. Why would you want to take really stressful and really complex websites and you know risk losing money here's the whole point i'm trying to communicate to you in this video price doesn't really matter in terms of your projects what matters is the time and if someone only has two thousand dollars for a website but you complete that in 10 hours you're making 200 bucks an hour so that suddenly makes a small project like you know a 2k project turn into a really profitable project so that was an overview of the three key productized services you should be offering as a web designer thank you so much for watching this video if you've got any questions or you know you disagree with me you want to discuss something please put it in the comments below but apart from that i think you should be using this pricing system it's a really great way to run your business and i hope the whiteboard wasn't too annoying and you could read my writing but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video